Now we will discuss about the anatomy of the musculocutaneous nerve. Musculocutaneous nerve. First of all, we make a diagram. Intermuscular septum. This is lateral intermuscular septum. Here is medial intermuscular septum. This is radial tuberosity. This is radial tuberosity. Here is ulnar tuberosity. Here is coronary process. Process. This is ulnar tuberosity. Supraglenoid tubercle. This is supraglenoid tubercle. And one muscle takes origin from supraglenoid tubercle. And here is greater tubercle. This is lesser tubercle. This is bicepital root. Here is a long head of biceps, which is intracapsular. This is capsule of the shoulder joint. This is long head of biceps. Here is coracoid process. On the tip of the coracoid process, there is another muscle arise. This is short head of the biceps. So these two heads, long head and short head, joint and here form belly of the muscle. And the structure here is a in lower half of anterior surface of the humerus and lateral and medial intermuscular septum anterior part gives origin to brachialis. Here is origin to brachialis. This muscle is brachialis and it is inserted on coronary process and ulnative velocity. Here. This muscle is brachialis. This is brachialis. This muscle is brachialis. And here is another muscle. This is coracobrachialis. It takes origin from tip of the coracoid process along with short head of the biceps brachii and inserted on medial side of about 5 cm of the middle of the sac of the humerus. This is this muscle is coracobrachialis. All these two muscles, the coracobrachialis and brachialis, are covered by this muscle which lying over this. This is biceps. This biceps is inserted on radial tuberosity. This is radial tuberosity. So these three muscles are supplied by this is biceps brachii. Brachialis 
and the edge for a cobalt piece. So these are three muscles which are related with muscular cutaneous nerve. Before going to the uh, detail of the muscular cutaneous nerve, we will review the brachial axis. Here is C5 root, lentil ramai of C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. C8 and this is T1. This is C5, C6 joint for upper trunk, this is middle trunk and this is lower trunk. Then there is division. These three trunks divided posteriorly, posterior division from the posterior part and ventral division of ventral division of the upper trunk and middle trunk joint for lateral card. This is lateral card and it continues as medial card. This is medial card. So this is posterior card, this is medial card, this is lateral card. Lateral card gives three branches. One is lateral pectoral, which gives supply to the pectoral, pectoris major and marrow muscle. And another muscle is musculocutaneous. This is musculocutaneous. So other nerve is musculocutaneous. This is musculocutaneous, which passes like this along the third part of the, here is third part of axillary artery. So it runs along the third part of the axillary artery. So this is musculocutaneous which is a branch of lateral card. Its root value is C5, C6, C7. It pierces the coracobrachialis muscle. Then after piercing this, it passes between biceps brachii and brachialis muscle. Give supply to these two muscles. And about 5 cm, about 2 cm above the elbow joint, it pierces the deep fascia and it becomes superficial. And now it forms lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm. This is lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm. It gives supply to, cutaneous supply to lateral part of the so this is about the course and branches. So it gives supply to three muscles. You can remember it by B, B, C. We have three muscles that is brachialis, biceps brachialis, biceps brachii and coracobrachialis. And its cutaneous part has lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm. This is all about the muscular cutaneous nerve.